Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Damask. In this game you'll be making your own fabric with colors and patterns and if you do it well you'll earn some money. Here's how that goes. You are going to play three rounds and then the game is over. Whoever has the most money is the winner. You get some money during the game and some bonus money at the end. I'll explain later in this video what you get extra money for. But after three rounds the game ends. If you have the most money you are the winner. First, what is a round? You are going to keep playing until this dial on this board points to one of these spaces A and B. If at any point the dial points at a disc that shows this red hand then the round is over. You will get to this point automatically when you're playing the game. Next, how do you play the game? What do you do when it's your turn? When it's your turn you do one mandatory action and one optional action. First, the mandatory action. You have two options to choose from. When it's your turn you can choose to take one of the damask cards from the display. You place it in front of you with this side up so you can see what is needed to complete this card. The empty spot in the display immediately gets refilled. Just take a random card from this bag. You can have a maximum of three of these cards in front of you in your own area. Or when it's your turn you can choose to take these little cubes from the main board. This is silk. You can choose where you want to start taking the cubes and from there you go clockwise taking more cubes. You can keep going until you take a cube that has the same color as another cube that you've already taken. So if I'd start taking cubes here I would immediately have to stop after taking the second one because it's the same color as the first one. But as long as I keep taking cubes that are a different color I can keep going. If there happens to be a gap in the circle that's okay. Just keep taking cubes clockwise. As soon as you're done taking cubes you have to move this dial forward. It goes as many spaces as you took cubes. I took this many cubes, so I move it forward this many spaces, like so. If the dial ever stops on one of these spaces, or passes them while I'm doing this, then the game stops for a moment and something happens. But I'll explain that in a moment. The cubes that you've taken can go on the cards you're working on and whatever you don't use goes on your own storage card that you have with you. This one. And that's it. When it's your turn you either take a new card or you take some cubes and move the dial forward. And then there are the two optional actions you can choose from. But it's either one or the other, not both. If you want you can steal all the cubes of one particular color from another player. You take the cubes and that other player can take one guild token from the supply. These are little bonuses that you can spend during your turn. And the other thing you can optionally do during your turn is see if you have any finished cards. If a card has all the cubes on it that it is asking for, it is completed and you can put it up here on your own screen. The cubes go back into the bag. You can only put up one card per turn. But you are going to get money for this. Putting up a card is what gives you money and getting money is the goal of the game. You always have to place your card next to another card. 
You can start on the left side of your screen or the right side, that's up to you. But once you've started on one side, you have to keep placing a new card next to the last card that you put up here. You get one money for simply putting up a card here. You also get one money if the new card has the same color on it as the card that you placed it next to. And you get one money if the new card has the same pattern as the card next to it. So you can earn a maximum of three money per card that you put up on your screen. But there's more. Each round also has a particular color and pattern that is in fashion. For that you look here at the fashion board. You can see a color and pattern next to each round. One, two and three. If the card that you placed has the color on it that is in fashion for that round, you can take one guild token from the supply. If the card that you placed has the pattern that is in fashion during this round, you can also take one guild token. Let me now explain these guild tokens. Some show a cube on it. That means you can spend this to finish a card that needed one more cube of a particular color. And some show a pattern. That means you can spend this as a cube from any color to finish a card that shows this particular pattern. You can also always spend one guild token randomly to put up another card that you have finished. You can only put up one card per turn, but if you happen to have two or three of these finished cards in front of you, you can spend one token to put up one more card on your own screen and get the reward for that, of course. Alright, that is what you can do during your turn. You must either take a card or take cubes, and if you want, you have the option to steal cubes or put one finished card up on your own screen to get money. And maybe some guild tokens. You can always spend as many guild tokens as you like during your turn for more bonuses. Now, as I've said, there comes a point where the dial is going to reach one of these spaces on the main board where there is a disc, or maybe moves past it. Either way, when that happens, the player who did this finishes their turn, but then you have to look at the space. If it's this disc with the green double arrow, then you have to move the disc to the other space, and then you flip it over. If it's this disc with a black arrow, that means you have to flip the disc over. And if it's the disc with the red hand, that means the round is over. You flip over the fashion tiles that you used for this round, and every player has to pay one money for each color that they have cubes of on their own storage board. So that would be a maximum of six money you have to pay to the bank if you have leftover cubes in all the colors. If you want, you can spend two guild tokens and pick a color, and then you don't have to pay anything for that color. After that, you refill the main board with cubes. There should be 26 little cubes on this board. And you flip over the disc with the red hand again. It's also possible that the dial is going to point at an empty space. In that case, you also just fill up the main board with cubes and keep playing. Empty space or a disc, you always end this moment in the game with refilling the cubes in the wheel. This is it. This is how you play Damask. Keep going for three rounds, collecting cards and cubes. As soon as a card has all the cubes, it can go on your screen for money. As soon as the dial hits the red hand, you pay money for colors. 
that you have leftover cubes of and get ready for the next round. So, what do you get bonus money for at the end? When the game is over, you look at your own screen. If you have all the six different colors that there are in this game, you get three extra money. The game also has four different patterns. If you have all the patterns up on your screen, you also get three extra money. For every three unused guild tokens you still have left, you get one money. Keep in mind that you are still allowed to spend one guild token to put up another finished card on your screen. You can still do that at the end of the game. And for every card that you didn't finish, you also get one money. But it has to have at least one cube on it. So, three bonus money if you have all the colors and all the patterns. We're done. This is the explanation for the regular game. But it's possible the game is also going to come with an option to play a shorter version if you prefer that. And it definitely has a solo mode. Anyway, I hope you feel like you have a good sense of how this game goes and that it sounds interesting. If you're watching this in the spring of 2022, then keep an eye out for it on GameFound when it starts its crowdfunding campaign. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.